What's, what's the matter with you? Why aren't you moving with the times here? Oh, I am moving with the I have no problem with same-sex couples dancing. I think it's absolutely fine. I think before I went into Strictly last year, I couldn't think of a good reason why you'd stick with the um, mixed-sex format. Mm. But now I do, because I think men and women dance together in a particular way. There's aesthetic reasons to keep that. I, don't, I think Strictly is already about as inclusive and as warm a kind of television programme as you could imagine. So I think it models that for people who need that modelling. And also, if it ain't broke, don't fix it. But you see, I'm surprised because you're, you're an openly gay man. Yes, and I dance and yet... very happily with my partner around the kitchen. And there are, you know, a lot of people in this country who are now openly gay. And this is, you don't have to have uh, two gay partners, but certainly, what would be wrong mm. in actually having gay partners? On Strictly, why should we be so stuck in the mud about it? Well, I think we needn't be stuck in the mud about it. I don't think there's anything wrong with it at all, but I don't think there's anything wrong with sticking with the format as mm. well. I mean, it's already, you know, Strictly is about as gay friendly as Barbara Streisand. Last year, I did a concert to raise funds for Grenfell, and Anton de Bet wanted to dance in the concert, as did um, Robert Rinder. And we had lots of the Strictly couples dancing. Mm. And I decided that it would just make an incredible impact if they were to dance together. And did so, they... um, yes, but Anton didn't know till he arrived who his partner was. <laughs> I didn't tell him. Mm. Um, I asked Robbie if he'd like to dance with Anton, and Anton thought, oh, I'm going to dance with Oti. But I said, guys, please dance together. Mm. And they did a quick step. And it was so stunning. The audience, absolutely to a man, stood and applauded. They were brilliant. And Anton was strong and supported in hold, in back bends, in everything. Mm. And it was an absolute sheer joy and delight to watch these two dance together. I think together. it would only work if they were both gay. And I'll tell you why. Why? You've got to have a little sexual frisson. Yeah. And if you know that one is straight and one is gay, that doesn't exist. It's the vertical expression I... of a horizontal... Can so I, I think if you have to be two say... gay women or two gay men, then it works. You've got to have a sense that they may be bed-hopping afterwards. No, <laughs> Like no. everybody else on Strictly it... seems to do. No, I, of course no, they do. Idea, but, you know, no. dance is, is sensual, sexual, of course. However, in the world of contemporary dance, two men have been dancing together creating the most incredible party days for a long time now, and I don't see why Strictly it's couldn't the embrace song, though, isn't it? Well, I think you get, plenty, you get plenty of free saw in plenty of different ways. I think another really interesting thing is this idea... Men and women dance together, and the man is supposed to lead and the woman is supposed to follow. When you actually do it, it's much more an equal partnership than that, wouldn't you say? It I is mean? an equal partnership, but I mean, schools, I don't think it's patriarchal, I don't think it's they homophobic. Teach, they, you know, they teach follow and lead and follow, and often there are more girls in school in yeah. dance schools. Okay. They dance together, one leads, one follows. Well, we know in this series that, that the pros are going to do some dances, same-sex dances. Yes. So we'll wait and see if that happens with celebs, maybe next series. Yep. Um, uh, I danced with Bruno Tonioli at my 50th birthday party, and I've got to say, I think we both felt something. Was there a frisson? <laughs> there was a frisson. <laughs> frisson. Anyway... <laughs>